Hey, what's up, everybody? The Preston 13 here, back with another box break. You got to see it. Right. The first thing I have to do is apologize because I forgot to do the uh, the box offer at the end of our last one. So if you watched Alan and Ginter number one there, I do apologize. We're going to do the box toppers first this time so we don't forget about them. And if we get something cool like a rip it card, we'll rip that last. If we're going to rip it. Oh, man, I'd love to see a rip it card. All right, 2019, Allen and Ginter. This is our second hobby box. In our last one, we saw a couple pretty sweet things. We got a couple relic cards and an autograph, a framed autograph. It was absolutely beautiful. Derek Rodriguez. Make sure you check that out. But then we also got a super short print, hand numbered to 25, one of the Brooklyn series. What was it, one out of 260-something packs? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah it was uh, pretty sweet. So check out that first box break. And to anyone who already has, I'm sorry we missed the box topper. Uh, but we're going to make up for that here. We're going to do two right at the top. All right, set those aside for a minute. Preston underscore sports at Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. It'll be easy with these. Anything in particular we're looking for here, Luke? They got box top of rip it cards, but they're pretty thick. You can usually tell. I'm, yeah, they got autographed box toppers, things like that. They got some waterfall box toppers. You never know. Got a little bit of everything. Allen and Ginter, always an interesting set. Congratulations. You've just received a cabinet box loader of Ronald Ocuna Jr. Cool looking card. That is absolutely beautiful. Man, I don't know what you put that in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have anything big enough. What you'll have to do is get like a full plastic. Actually, I might some over there. Yeah. At the end, I'll check. I, have, I might have something. Like something you would put a full piece of paper. Comic book bags they got with it. Something like that. Yeah, Probably. that's a good call. As we get into it, uh, anything numbered 350 to 400 it's going to be considered a short print make sure you're checking your card home well because they are not always easy to spot even the hand number to 25 that we got out of our last box uh, there was nothing special about it and if we hadn't looked at the back we never would have known all right this time it's javier baez we'll give it a flip around maybe we'll get lucky maybe there's an autograph on it huh huh Nah, more, more. but a sweet Javier Baez box topper. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, what do we decide? Eight cards per pack. 24 packs. Three hits guaranteed. Anything else we need to know, Luke? No, got a lot of odd autographs, Harrison Ford and Travis Pastrana and Rodney Mullins, and then you got your normal players, Trout, lots of, lots of good autographs. The Harrison Ford autograph is the holy grail Yeah, for this set. For me, that would be the one. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Indiana Jones, are you kidding? Han Solo. All right, pack number one. And we're starting off with Emily Jansen. Minor League Baseball General Manager in the Pacific Coast League. There you go. If you want to learn a little bit about Emily Jansen. All right. Off to a good start. Who's next? Colby Allard. Rookie card. And our first tiny tiny card, it's Josh Donaldson, another Brave. 
and we'll flip it around. That's just the standard. They are, <clears throat> pardon me, there are a couple variations of the short ones. We'll show you later if we come across them. Aaron Judge, for all you Yankee fans. Ton of potential there, obviously. Steven Piscotti up next. Got yeah, his auto in a Chrome box, remember? Yeah. Yeah, 2016 Chrome rookie autograph. Yeah, we got his rookie autograph the other night. Check out that Chrome uh, one we posted. That was an angry box break. Those are a ton of fun. <laughs> Achilles Armor. It's a, the, the Incredible Equipment Series. Achilles Armor. Juan Soto up next. And Tony Perez. How about that? Of the big red machine. An undervalued player for his era. Not a lot of buzz about Tony Perez, but he was outstanding. Pack number two. Is that Iron? Absolutely, Ivan Rodriguez. I got him as the second best catcher of all time behind Mr. Johnny Bench. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Brandon Nemo. Chris Bryant. Absolute stud for your Chicago Cubs. And Dustin Pedroia. Ian Snell. Ah, Blake Snell, I'm, pardon me. And real quick, we'll give you a shot of the one on uh, this side, my right, your left, I suppose. Josh Donaldson is the uh, regular one. The Blake Snell is the insert with the Allen and Ginter insignia on the back. And then they make another variant where the borders are funky color, and those are pretty easy to spot. Make sure you're checking the back of your Allen and Ginter cards. And remember, 350 to 400 are short prints. Ginter greats, it's Joe Morgan. And the second best catcher of all time. Perhaps the best second baseman of all time. Who is better, him or Eddie Collins, Luke? I like Joe Morgan. Jeff McNeil. Rookie card. Outstanding young player for the Mets. And Justice Sheffield rookie card. Also a ton of potential. Unfortunately, he was with he is with the Mariners, which means he'll likely never win anything worth mentioning because they are a dumpster fire of an organization. But this ain't a, this is not an angry box break, so I won't get started on dumpster fire organizations. Lou Ford, Whitey Ford. Who the hell is Lou Ford? <laughs> Whitey Ford. Lou Ford. Google it. I bet it's somebody. I bet, he, I bet <laughs> Lou Ford is somebody. somebody. <laughs> Felix Hernandez, Hall of Famer. No doubt, right? Felix Hernandez. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's going to be fall off a little bit. Oh, he fell off a lot. Tony Olivia. He is a Hall of Famer. I don't know. Felix Hernandez was so dominant there for a while. He's right around a 50 war right now. I don't know. It'll be close. Cody Allen. Uh, Ichiro, little card. I love Ichiro. I really would have liked to see seen him spend his whole career in the major leagues. He could have rewritten the record books. Rewritten? Rewrote? It's Mr. Otani's baseball star signs. He is a cancer. Shohei Otani. We'll make sure. Well, you're putting those in penny sleeves, aren't you? Yeah, okay. those are pretty sweet. Matthew Mercer is up next. He is a voice actor and dungeon master. I'm assuming that's with the uh, what the uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Numerous prominent characters, animation and video game. Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars Battlefront Two. Oh, he was in. He was McCready in Fallout. I love the Fallout series. All right, a big thumbs up to Mr. Matthew Mercer. Fallout voice actor, awesome. And Vlad Guerrero Sr., excellent. We saw Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card in our last box. 
I just remember him going up to bat with no batting gloves long after people didn't do that anymore. Yeah. That's some manly stuff right there. Hell of a ball. One of my favorites. Hopefully his son can live up to the hype. Ah, Mr. Snyder one more time. Kyle Snyder. He's a wrestler. Wrestler. Mike Trout. Excellent. Always happy to have a Mike Trout sighting. Trevor Story. Excellent player for the Rockies. And that's old uh, Kenley Jansen. Relief pitcher for the Dodgers. And our first Mares and Stallions card. This time it's the Clydesdale. Seen quite a few of those. Quite a few of the aircraft cards. We'll talk about those later. John Lester. Little card. Oh man, you won't believe this. Two boxes in a row. Super short prints. This one numbered 6 of 25 of the Brooklyn Collection. Now, uh, we did 264, right? Yeah, I think it's 1 in 264 packs. We'll double check real quick. 1 in 264 packs, I believe, is what you're looking at to pull one of these yeah. Brooklyn hand-numbered to 25 series. And we have just pulled our second one in two boxes. So that is pretty sweet. This time it's John Lester. Last time it was Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. We're going to get that right into a penny sleeve. That's incredible. How about that? That's pretty cool. So we're only opening a total of what, 48 packs? Yeah. Brandon Crawford and ah, Bob Feller, an undervalued player. I'm sure our Cleveland fans know all about Bob Feller, but if you don't, give him a Google. He was an incredible pitcher. Two super short prints. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, yeah. I'm going to get a rip it card. That would, that would be sweet. That would be sweet. Starting off this pack, it's Yasiel Puig in a red uniform. He's spending quite a few years with the Dodgers. Chance Adams. Rookie card. Mike Piazza. Where's he ranked on the all-time catcher list? I might have him three behind Irod and Bench. What do you think, Luke? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. He's Not good. great defensively. Offensively, an absolute stud. And for all you Post Malone fans out there, that is a short print, tiny version. The back looks like the regular one. We'll let you read up on Mr. Post Malone. Or is it just Mr. Malone? But you can obviously see the border is all kinds of funky. Very Post Malone short print. King Arthur Sword one more time. We saw that before, and I think we got an autograph here, Luke. Oh, it looks like it. It does look like it. Burton Rocks. Who? We had a Burton Rocks card in <laughs> the we? last box. Ah, Glaber Torres. To finish out that pack, we did. Uh, he's a sport agent and author. Okay. Huh. Mob bro. Burton Rocks. Mob bro. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a card number. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Mob bro. That's how. Yeah, I that's get a there. that's a Burton Rocks autograph card. It's a framed autograph and. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. I like the frames. Uh, your thoughts on uh, Mr. Rocks, Luke? I don't know. I don't know what they think. I don't know who he is. I'm about to look him up, I guess. See who he represents? Yeah. Hopefully we get a... Maybe he's uh, Cedric Mullins' agent. Yeah. Maybe he's the don't, one don't that forced... Don't speak of that, man. I'll talk about this. <laughs> he's the one that forced Cedric Mullins to sit in a dark room for three years signing autographs. <laughs> Chris Davis. 
No, um, yeah, Chris Davis. There we go. Manny Machado now with the Padres. Oh, that falling over there. Shohei Tani one more time. This time it is his little card. And we got uh, both uh, Dale Murphy's big card and little card uh, in our blaster boxes. We had some good angry box breaks with some Allen and Ginter blaster boxes. Make sure you check those out. AJ Pollock and Phil Necro. The old knuckleballer. The Ginter Greats collection I'm a big fan of. This time it's Rivera, Mariano Rivera. Those are very pretty cards. And Brett, Matt Olson's going to round out that pack. As always, we thank you for hanging out. Make sure you put in the comments, thoughts, concerns, questions, whatever's on your mind. We always appreciate the feedback and the interactions. Starting off that pack with David Robertson and one of my all-time favorites, Ricky Henderson. You want to see some crazy stats, go look up Ricky Henderson's career. Yadier Molina, not a big fan myself, but he is a heck of a ball player. And was it J oh, Jason Bonomo? Justin Bonomo. World Series of Poker. We've seen a couple of those throughout our Allen and Ginter adventures this year. And the little guy that got away from me is Jack Flaherty, and it's going to be the Allen and Ginter Insignia variant. Awesome. Reggie Jackson, baseball star signs. He is a Taurus. The Bull. Again, I really do like those cards. They're pretty cards. Ah, uh, Hammer and Hank Aaron. How about that? And Todd Helton right behind him. Hammer and Hank. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. This will bring us to the one-third mark. We got two more hits. And we got two more piles over there with two more hits in it. Hopefully we get something awesome. Josh Donaldson one more time. Will Myers. Williams at Studio. Got to get you jogging, buddy. That's a rookie card. You can't be looking like that until you're in your 30s. Got to get you in shape. Extend your career. Barry Larkin, one of my all-time favorites being here in Cincinnati. That might be a short print. That is a th uh, short print. We'll take some time to mention that. Every card right at the top there, number 395. Anything numbered between 350 and 400 will be a short print. You got doubles in? Yeah, I think I do. I think you do, too. You got doubles of each, too, I know. Yeah. I might make you offer on some of your doubles, maybe. Tommy Lasorda. Oh, uh, there's some good stories. Go Just Google up Tommy Lasorda stories. I won't tell them and ruin them here. Just Google them up for yourself. He has some good ones, some really, really good ones. Another Mares and Stallions collection, American Paint Horse. I'm a fan of the paints. They're pretty. Coinel Perez rookie card and Javier Baez to finish off that pack. There's some uh, short prints in there. Stay. Yeah. I don't know if you want to piss leave them or not. No. There's another one. I'll oh, take yeah. the front. Post Malone. Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. No penny sleeve for Post Malone. <laughs> no. How about that, folks? I don't mind. Yeah. Luke denied him. <laughs> denied him a penny sleeve. Jonathan Lucroy up next. Alex Bregman. He's having a very good year. 
as is Glaber Torres. That's his tiny version. No variant. Hideki Matsui, Godzilla. Outstanding player. One of my favorites. Man, he could mash. He really could mash. Blake Snell up next. And another aircraft card. I think we've seen this one before. Yep, we've actually seen it twice in our last couple breaks. The History of Flight Collection will take some time to mention that if you get all of these. You can see uh, some of the ground there. A lot of them have just sky. You put them together, they make a big collage. Um, that's pretty sweet. If you ever uh, get that put together, make sure you leave a link in the comment below so we can check it out. Xander Bogarts and Brian Dozier. Is that Jackie Robinson? Absolutely. Old number 42. If you've ever wondered why they wear number 42 all around the league. But a couple times a year now, I think they do it. That's because Jackie Robinson. Give him a Google if you're not familiar. He accomplished so much. Yeah, it's Monty Grandall up next. And it's a rookie card of Kevin Newman. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. Fred McGriff, another Hall of Famer. That one's a non-variant. The Hall of Fame run continues with one of my favorite players, Tom Seaver. You want to learn how to throw baseball, just go watch him pitch for a little while. Another Ginter great. I love these cards this time. It's Robin Yount. Yeah. That one's a short print? Yeah. Which one was it? Tom Seaver. Oh, Tom Seaver, that was a short print. Excellent. What's this number? 394. 394. And Clayton Kershaw to finish that pack. What was his one? It's already ridiculous. Clayton Kershaw, it's like right around 70. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Kershaw already with a somewhere around 70 war. Jacob DeGrom, speaking of excellent pitchers. Is it Ryan? Mitch. Mitch Hanniger. Chris Sale. Mr. Kiner Falefa. I probably butchered that. Isaiah. And it's a Hideki Matsui short print with the funky border there. We just saw him a few minutes ago. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to Penny League probably. Anthony Rizzo's baseball star, <clears throat> baseball star signs card. He is a Leo. And another variant I like in this set. David Ortiz and Jacob DeJong. Or Jacob DeGrom, DeGrom. Paul DeJong. Almost said Jacob, Jacob DeGrom. My goodness. Let me get a drink of water. Shit's turning south real quick <laughs> yeah. here. What's the score of that baseball game? Uh, it was 14 to 5. I think this, nope. one, I think this one's over. The Reds are going to get a win on the Brewers tonight. Kind of ruining the Brewers' chances here. Yeah, they, they need to uh, win a few ball games. So. Yeah. Is that Kyle Seeger? J.D. Martin, Edgar Martinez. Ah, Edgar Martinez. I'm sorry. Almost blew by him. The Hall of Famer, right? Yeah, he just got in this year. Yes, sir. He deserved it. He was a hell of a player. Ian Happ. Ah, Orlando Cepeda. Awesome. That's a short print. 397 is the number. There you go. Allen and Gent. Oh, the Mares and Stallions collection. It's the Andalusian. They are pretty horses. See the speckled color? Chugging along, it's another freight train. This time it's the Heritage Train. We got a train card in our last box. There you go. Garrett Cole and Lou Gehrig. Awesome. 
Google Dennis Leary Lou Gehrig. If you want to see some good comedy. It's Mullen. Mr. Mullen, Rodney Mullen. There you go. He signed uh, this year, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got honors. Lorenzo Kane. Oh, uh, we got, no, no. We got Tony Perez. That's his tiny card. And it is a short print as well. Awesome. Love Tony Perez of the Big Red Machine. It's another aircraft card. This time, it's Sikorsky. The Sikorsky R4. The History of Flight Collection. And we're going to have another hit here, Luke. You're not going to believe it. It's Quinn 92. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a we got a Quinn 92 the other night in one of our angry box breaks. Yeah, that's weak. Um, the exact same card, as a matter of fact, uh, for all you Quinn 92 fans. We got a couple for sale. You just let me know. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. We would come across that card again. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Dan's be Swanson up next. And... AJ Burnett to finish off that pack. Man, that's pretty weak. Oh, yeah, it sucks. We still got one more hit, though. Sonny Gray of your Cincinnati Reds. Having a very good year. Gary Carter. In his Expos uniform. Excellent. That Carlos Santana. Or is it Ryan? Sean. Sean Doolittle. And it's another Ginter Greats. This time it's Hank Aaron. Awesome. Still the home run king in my opinion. And uh, speaking of home runs, Sammy Sosha. Not only did he use an incredible amount of steroids, but he also corked his bat. Sammy Sosha. Miguel Anjuhar and Jurickson Profar. We'll finish that one off. Any thoughts on uh, Sammy Sosha there, Luke? Yeah, he likes steroids. <laughs> he took his fair share. He hit like 12 home runs a year for the first, what, six years of his career? Yeah, he gained like 50 pounds of muscle. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with this pack over here. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe he got another. Danny Jensen, yeah, the same Quinn 92 card. That is lame, Alan and Ginter. Lame tops. Another Rocks card. This time it's Lawrence Rocks. Odebel Herrera up next. Jose Altuve. Roger Maris. Sweet. Another baseball star signs. This time it's Ichiro. Ichiro Libra. Zach Greinke. Hall of Famer, right? Future Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to say so. And speaking of the Hall of Fame, it's George Brett to finish off that pack. Card field oddly thick. All right, and this pack here brings us to the bottom of our second stack, meaning we're two-thirds of the way through and still one hit to go. As always, we appreciate you hanging out. Odovino. Eric Hosmer, Tuki Toussaint, rookie card. Excellent. Mr. Ramirez, Jose Ramirez. Another Eddie Murray card. Ooh, we've seen a couple of him, I believe. 
we got a little chihuahua. Can't decide what she's mixed with. I think it's a corgi. The wife is unsure. But this time on the collectible canines, it's a corgi. Look how adorable. There you go. I don't know. There we go. Keeping with the animals, it's the Tennessee Walking Horse in the Mares and Stallions collection. And Julio Lugo rookie card. Noel Lugo, I'm sorry. Who's Julio Lugo? Who's a baseball player? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, some of these packs are just eating me up over here. Doing a horrible, horrible job of opening these packs. I'm sorry. Willie McCovey is going to start us off. And it's Dawson of the World Champions Collection. First pitch celebrity, Haley Dawson. Awesome. Ozzy Albies up next. Al Kaline, Hall of Famer. And Jason Veritex. Funky bordered short print tiny card. Another aircraft card. This time it's the Supermarine S.6B. Lieutenant John Boothman. There you go. Again, did we mention this in this video? You put those together, it makes a mirror. Yeah. You, so you can get all the... If you can get all the aircraft ones. Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Famer. And Andrew McCutcheon. Still so weird to see him outside of a pirate uniform. Nomar Mazzara starts off that pack, followed by Josh Bader's tiny card. No variant. Dylan Cozens. Ah, Christian Yelich having another ridiculously good year. Jordan Hicks and another Ginter Greats. This time it's Bob Gibson. Literally changed the game of baseball with how dominant he is. Give him a Google if you're not familiar. Ah, there we go. Pete Alonzo. Rookie card. That's nice. Absolutely. He's going to go in a penny sleeve. And it's Steve Carlton in the Phillies uniform. Moving right along. Roberto Clemente to start off this pack. Awesome. Obviously one of the best players of all time. Knight. Hillary Knight. She is a hockey player. For the U.S. women's team. One of my favorite players in the game right now being here in Cincinnati. It's Joey Votto. Love to watch him hit the baseball. Sean Feed Rolly, Sean Reed Foley rookie card. And it's a Harold Baines. How about that? Hall of Famer, Harold Baines. And it's going to be uh, the Allen and Ginter insignia variant there. Harold Baines in the Hall of Fame with uh, what, less than a 40 um, war. Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Mookie Betts, baseball star signs. He's a Libra. Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. And Eddie Rosario. 
Adrian Beltre is going to the Hall of Famer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, one more hit. Hope it's a good one. The other two have been pretty, pretty weak. I agree. Did you get a number, another numbered card, though, that's Yeah, good. that was good. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Andy Pettit. Start off this pack. Raphael Devers. It's Ichiro one more time. Is that our second Ichiro? Yeah, I think we got a many. Yeah. Sister Sobiek. She threw out a nice first pitch. Yep. First pitch celebrity. I remember that. Yeah, she did. She put one right on the button yeah, she there. Put a heater. <laughs> throwing, throwing fire. Sister Sobiek card there. Mr. Schwartz, we've seen him a couple times. He was involved with uh, Parks and Recreations. Rick Porcello. The Appaloosa of the Mares and Stallions collection. And Ryan Yarborough. Getting down to it here. We've got four packs left and still one hit to go. David Bodie has start off this pack. And the Cincinnati Red Stockings. How about that? <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Let me take a quick drink of water here. And we're going to take a quick look at the Cincinnati Red Stockings card. The first professional baseball team. Is from Cincinnati, and we're currently celebrating our 150 years of baseball, just like uh, the MLB is. <coughs> awesome! Yeah, you can put that in. That's pretty sweet. David Dahl up next. Thor's hammer. For all you Marvel fans. Incredible equip. That's probably not talking about the, the Marvel movies. They're probably talking about Greek mythology. The scap bows in bloom. It's a flower. They do have a floral collection this year. <coughs> and that looks, uh, it doesn't have the A and G insignia on it, but it looks a little different than some of the other cards. And here we got our. Third hit. It's Louis Servino. Patch card. Beautiful gray patch there. Louis Severino. What do you think, Luke? You got it. <coughs> Still a weak box. As far as hits go. Yeah, not great. And you got the you got the number to twenty-five. Yeah, I got that. And that's pretty good. You got Jose Canseco, and that's pretty awesome, in a Tampa Bay uniform. Who doesn't want one of those? You want to hear a good story or Google a good story, check out the time uh, Jose Canseco shot his finger off while cleaning one of his guns. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Reggie Jackson. You may also recognize him from the Lethal Weapon movie. Charlie Blackman. Actually, he's a all-star this year, having a really good year. Trey Turner. Hugh Darvish. And another collect canines this time. It's the English Springer Spaniel. Excellent. And for all you Yankee fans, it's Derek Jeter, Ginter Greats, no longer playing baseball, currently running the Marlins into the ground. Derek Jeter. Cedric Mullins rookie card, because you got to have one. I'm surprised it's not signed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, curious. I'm glad it's not signed. And German Marquez to round out that pack. <coughs> 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 
Oh, I'm so sorry. The old, uh, got an old gunshot wound in the lung. Got some, got some pleurisy in there. Causes me to cough from time to time. I think this is the first time during a box break <clears throat> I've had that sort of trouble. So I do apologize. Cause these uh, little fits. If you watched our last one, you saw a pretty sweet Loriano. That was one of the uh, super short prints, right? Yeah. That's a rookie card. Freddie Freeman. Jerickson Pro Far. We saw him a little bit ago. This time it is his little card. Dan Rather. Newsman, TV journalist, it says on the back there. Dan Rather. I remember him uh, giving me the news for most of my life. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Fame catcher. Excellent player. Noah Sindergaard, his baseball star signs. He is a Virgo. Buster Posey right behind him. And it is Jay Larson, comedian Jay Larson. <coughs> All right, one more pack to go. As always, we really do appreciate it. Put in the comments below what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see in the future. Make sure you check out our angry box breaks if you want a different spin on opening baseball cards. We have a lot of fun with those. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. And see what we get in our last pack. Rod Carew to start us off. Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn. Absolutely beautiful. Love Tony Gwynn. Incredible ball player. I was very sad to hear of his passing a couple of years ago. Uh, Fallon. Brian Fallon. He's a musician. I'm going to guess country. With his flannel shirt and acoustic guitar. The Gaslight Anthem is a band, apparently. I don't recognize it. Oh, dropped another one. Eddie Matthews. Excellent. He's an old Hall of Famer. doesn't get talked about enough. Eddie Matthews, hell of a ball player. And it's Butcher. Rhea Butcher, to be more precise. A comedian. And that was, yeah, that's the Allen and Ginter variant. Uh, Johnny Calls Sith. We saw that in our last box as well. The Incredible Equipment Collection. Gregory Polanco and Ahmed Rosario. <clears throat> as always, we do appreciate it. We had a couple, uh, couple good ones in that box that, that Quinn 92 we've seen before, a little disappointing to pull the same same one again. Luis Severino, the bordered autographs. These really are beautiful, beautiful cards. And then the big one, our second numbered to 25 of the Brooklyn series. This time it was John Lester, our second one of the night. If you want to see the first one, check out the 2019 Allen and Ginter number one video. Please do leave in the comments uh, some of your thoughts and opinions. We love the interaction. We love the feedback. I am Preston. I got my buddy Luke here with me. One more time, we appreciate it. Be good. Have fun. And we'll see you next time.